So this is our first example problem, uh, example network flow problem. Um, in this problem, um, cars must be sh must be shipped from ports in Newark and Jacksonville to other locations at minimum cost, and the shipping costs, the supplies, and the demands are shown in the network. So here you see there is Newark, which has uh, 200 cars of supply in Jacksonville, um, that is that has 300 cars available right this is the supply nodes and if you recall we were we were saying we put a number here this bi on node i seeing all nodes are numbered one two three four five six seven so newark is number one and jacksonville is number seven b1 then is minus 200 and it is negative because we want to indicate this is a supply remember positive means demand negative means supply so we have 200 cars of supply here 300 cars not minus 300 300 cars of supply and then we have 80 demand 170 demand here 160 and 70 so actually every node in the other every other node apart from those two supply nodes has demand now um, so our problem is to transport those cars such that we satisfy demands in other places and these other places are actually dealers these are ports these are dealers that uh, ordered so many units of a certain model of a car notice these are all identical cars for the for our uh, uh, problem so what we're assuming in network flow models that, that it's we're really transporting one product and multiple units of the same product and we do not distinguish between units they are identical units for our purposes right because we have to say i need a hundred units i don't care which ac exactly units these are right so so we, we have to say the product there's just one type of product with multiple units now you see those costs here and this says thirty dollars this says forty dollars and so on you see cost on every arc and that what that indicates is that we pay thirty dollars for every car that is transported from newark to boston from node one to node two so if we have a variable that says how many cars are transported here we'll have to pay 30 times the value of the variable for this transportation and then the same thing from newark to uh, richmond and so on we pay 40 dollars and so on all other costs have to be um, added notice here that there is an interesting thing here that we have uh, connections that are uh, in 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 the same the connecting the same two nodes but in opposite directions there is no problem here uh, no ambiguity because if you consider for example this connection is from node 3 to 5 so this is a cost c35 and there will be variable that will be indicating the number of units flowing uh, x35 and then if there is a, there will be another variable that will say x53 with a different cost c53 right so there's no ambiguity here and note that uh, what actually we should expect in the solution is that the solver will never transport in both directions right either uh, there will be some cars transported from five to three or from three to five uh, or nothing will be transported here but we cannot uh, we should not have in an optimal solution transportation in both directions because those transportation those transportations those shipments will kind of cancel each other out so um, and they will just be introducing an, an extra cost so that the solver should never choose right you should never expect transportations in both directions in an optimal solution here <coughs> one more comment is we said that there is one more parameter actually two more parameters that we might have on connection there was a cost and we said we might have lower and upper bound if you recall right um, there was there was a case where we said well you you might put a lower bound and upper bound on how many units might flow on this arc and if we don't put it what we mean is that there is a the limits are really from zero to plus infinity right so we're saying uh, really you can transport minimum zero and maximum there's no maximum any number you, you can be transported uh, and the number of cars can be transported of course there is a maximum that that uh, is a result of a supply but there will be another constraint that will be uh, uh, restricting this right it would make sense to put a maximum here if there is a real uh, a limit for example a truck that will go here and there will be only one truck can take at most 10 cars then we would have to pay put 10 here instead of uh, the plus infinity but this is not the case here so uh, we have plus infinity or actually no upper limit on every arc here and zero 
minimum uh, value for every flow in this uh, network. Okay, so actually in this case we already have the network flow model, right? This picture uh, here on the right shows a network flow model for this problem, okay? Sometimes you will have a data provided for all connections, costs, all the supplies, all the demand, and you will have to draw the network flow model. In this case it is provided. And now the question is how do we uh, convert or transform this model into the linear programming model. First thing that you have to realize here is what's the relation of the total supply with total demand, right? How much total supply do we have here in this network? Well, we have 200 units of supply here, right? Remember this minus 200 means 200 plus 200 units of supply and plus 300 here. So we really have 200 plus 300 which is 500 units of supply. And then how much demand do we have here? It's a little bit more complex, but it's 100 in Boston plus 60 in Columbus plus 80 in Richmond plus 170 in Atlanta and plus 70 in Mobile. So, so we have 160, 240, uh, 340, 410, 480. So we have 480 units of supply. So now the question is, is total supply higher, smaller or equal to total demand? Well, it is higher than total demand. So according to what we said before, we can use in our, uh, we can write our constraints as inflow minus outflow greater than or equal bi. So we might just say, right, the bi values are provided here on nodes. Whenever we write constraints, we use the sign greater than or equal because the total supply is greater than total demand. So let's try to write this model um, now.